Get ready for College Hoops 2K8. The Maryland Terrapins go up against the Washington State Cougars. Welcome aboard, everyone. We're getting ready for quarterfinal action. We're here at the Staples Center. I'm Vern Lundquist here with Bill Raffrey and Tracy Wilson. What do you think, Bill? The story here is a matchup at off guard. Gary is one of the premier shooting guards in the nation. He's got tremendous hops, and I'm sure it won't be long before we see him send it in with reckless abandon. Long is a tremendous shooting guard as well. He's an outstanding defender in the low post, and he has wonderful fundamental skills down there. Both looking to lead their teams to a win. We'll see who succeeds. To the wing. Open look. The game's first basket was made by McCollum. They take a two-point lead. Stubbs throws it up. Peacock grabs the rock. As soon as he got the ball down there, the defense was all over him, making things difficult. With the shot. The three was off target by Meyer. But they're still up by two. Stolen by Pika. McCollum. Behind the arc. Stalwart grabs the rebound inside. Lucky break for the defense. Whoever was supposed to be guarding him better wake up. Because the next time, it won't be a miss. Passes it to the right. Nice pass. Meyer takes the shot. Can't return the favor with his own three. He'll make that one most of the time. But the D got a break on that one. Tosses it up. Not there on the three by Stubbs. They're still up by one. McCollum catches it. Out left. The courage on this fella is something else. He's such a competitor. Feeds, corner. Stubbs. Launches one from beyond the arc. Peacock corrals the miss. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Tracy Wolfson, for an update. What do you have for us, Tracy? Just before the game, I talked with the head coach. He told me offense is not an area of concern for this team. He's confident in their ability to put points on the board and hopes their effectiveness offensively carries over to the other end of the court. We'll see, Vern. Thanks, Tracy. Errant last shot by Long. Maryland creates all sorts of problems with their defense. They play passing lanes well and always find a way to force tough shots. Last shot laid in by Peacock. Passes like that make it so easy for the shooter. Catches it. Down low. They fail to double him, and that can be a costly decision. Absolutely. He's too dangerous down low to fool with. About 12 and a half minutes left in the half. McCollum bounces it to the left. Down low. Nice floater back there by Meyer. They're up by three. Stubbs takes it up. Peacock grabs it, and that's his fifth rebound in this one. Meyer, the crossover. Hendricks did a good job to grab that rebound. Perfect position that time. Dishes it to the right. Go. McCollum inbounds the ball. Meyer brings it up the floor. Leads him with the pass. McDermott buries the short-range jumper. They're now out in front by three. 
They're playing man to man here, Vern. Long. Beats it to the top of the key. Draws the foul, and he'll get a trip to the line. First personal foul. First team foul. Knocks down the first one. He gets the second to fall as well. Scott makes his first appearance. McCollum inbounds the ball. Just over 11 minutes left in the half. From deep, no good by Meyer, but they still lead by one. Stubbs has it left side. Stalwart dumps it inside. Scott unloads, can't take the lead. That was a much quicker shot than they might have liked, but it was a pretty open look, so it's tough to fault him. Skips it down low. Oh, I saw that. Peacock snags it. A little sloppy on the release. You're right. Just a little, but it cost him there. Meyer shoots it. Grabbed by Stalwart. And that's his fifth rebound in this one. It doesn't matter how far you've got to go to get them, Vern. Every rebound is essential. That last 13-footer was missed by Stalwart. Gary grabbed that rebound with his elbows high, using a little intimidation. Stalwart catches it outright. McCollum inbounds the ball. Right around 10 minutes left in the half. McCollum. Meyer dishes it to the low block. Pulled in by Long. Big time rejection. It seems like nothing can destroy this guy, but he will destroy you in a heartbeat. Top of the key. By yourself, by yourself. Passes to the high post. Long. The shot clock's running down. Backs in. Nunez gets it. Baseline. That last shot missed from just inside the arc. The D recognized the shot was coming and got out there on him. Nicely done. Last basket on the mark by McDermott. Lead pass to the paint. Last shot dumped down by Stalwart. Oh. Man, how many lead changes have we had? This is fantastic stuff. Peacock inbounds the ball. Under nine minutes left in the half. Goes to the crossover. Last shot missed by Meyer. Stubbs goes up, lays it right in. They're in front, 15 to 12. Meyer brings it up the floor. McCollum knocks it down from three-point land. It's a tie ball game. Long feeds it to the inside. Right wing raises up. Answers right back with his own three. He's got five. From 17 feet out. Good box out, and the board picked up by Nunez. Terrific job clearing some space under the glass. Physicality prevailing. Shooting two. down the first one the Marlin coach 
may have to deal with some chemistry issues after those substitutions because that gives them a pretty inexperienced lineup out there. He gets them both. McDermott inbounds the ball. It's a five-point game. They're set up in minimum. Lensley uses the crossover. Bounces it to the right wing. No good on that last shot by Luckett. Stubbs passes it up court. Lensley wipes the board off the window. The defense closed so quickly that the easy deuce turned into a very tough shot. McDermott bricks it off the front iron. They're still down four. Skips it to the right block. And he makes the first. And he'll come away one of two. Lock it way up court. Gary catches it. Middle. Flip up and in on that last layup. Either team can find a way to pull away from the other. Pitar inbounds the ball. Get on him. Ball, ball, ball. Switch, baby, switch. Hendricks. Hendricks, nice move. Finishes in close. They take a six-point lead. Washington State is really struggling. Lensley swings it to the wing. All net on the shot by Gary. And they're now behind by three. Stolen by Lensley. The intercept. What great reflexes. He pounced in and picked that one off easily. Yeah. Shooting two. Takes it up, and he makes the first. Peacock goes up. He gets the second to fall as well. Peacock inbounds the ball. Takes it up. Nice lay in off the glass by Stubbs. They're up by three. Listen to the crowd burn. This kind of excitement is why I love college basketball. The steal by Maryland. It's one on one. Leads him with the pass. Off target on the last shot by Long. The Cougars. A three would tie the game. Nice little crossover. Left wing. Lensley puts it up. Misses the tying basket. That's what a coach wants from his defenders. Stay with their best shooter and don't give them any easy looks. Leans. Grabbed inside by Peacock. That might just be a lack of concentration, Vern. He should have hit that. Knocked loose. But it's recovered by Luckett. Peacock. Stolen by Beta. He knew exactly what he wanted to do, and when he got the chance, he pounced for the steal. Peacock goes to the crossover. Gary takes it up. Scores after the quick crossover. But they're still behind by one. The Terrapins take their first time out of the game.
Well, let's get back to the action. Both teams are making a few lineup changes. Stalwart inbounds the ball. Scott has it. Top of the key. The Cougars can take their first lead in a long time with a basket here. McCollum goes up, fouled hard, and he'll take a trip to the line. it up and the next one could give them the lead and that one puts them ahead stalwart inbounds the ball there's no question what kind of defense they're in burn minimum takes it up Snatched off the defensive glass by McCollum. Just over four minutes left in the half. This guy can usually finish in traffic, but the D was too good, even for him on that one. Left side. Lockett shoots from the post. Plight gets the rebound. Dumps it to the paint. Let's it go. The shot from the right block was made by Stalwart. And they now go up by one. Crosses it over. That's why stop. Hendricks. Nunez backs him down. It falls short. uses the crossover. Shooting two. Knocks down the first one. He gets the second to fall as well. Stalwart inbounds the ball. The Terrapins will take a timeout. They're getting set to inbound the ball. Stalwart inbounds the ball. Scott goes up. Schneiderman pulls it down. The Cougars with a lot of momentum. To the rim. Oh, the big fellow with a tough rebound. No denying him on that one. 
Both teams are going to make some substitutions. Substitution on the court. Swings it to the left wing. Hendrick gets the bucket from 18 feet. They cut it to one. McCollum inbounds the ball. With the crossover. Stop by Myers. They're up 32 to 29. Maryland is really struggling to close down the middle. Tracy has something for us. Tracy? The Terrapins coach is definitely aware of that problem. He told his assistants that they have to bring more defenders into the paint, even if it means leaving the perimeter open. Desperate measures here, Vern. Thanks, Tracy. Stubbs pulls the trigger. Trifecta. And it's now a tie ball game. 140 left in the first half. Meyer lost track of his position and stepped on the out-of-bounds line. That is a turnover. That could have been avoided, Vern. He might have been a little too concerned with the defense. Nunez leads him in, raises up. They're in the lead thanks to the basket by Stubbs. He's got 13. Right wing, McCollum pulls the trigger, misses the three-pointer. Way to go up and attack it. He just attacks relentlessly, fighting, scraping, clawing away for all those rebounds. Misfired on that last three by Hendricks. Meyer, nice little crossover. Launches one from beyond the arc. Peacock. That one was drilled by Peacock. They now lead by one. Stalwart inbounds the ball. They can go two for one here, Vern, if they hurry it up. Passes it to the high post. Plight takes the three. Peacock snatches it down inside. 39 seconds left in the first half. Goes up, spiked oh, down. McCollum. Meyer puts it up, off the mark, thanks to the tight D. They're still up by one. Bounces it to the left side. By yourself, by yourself. You go left side. Get the ball, get the ball. Spread, spread. Plight. Gets it, right wing. Pass to the free throw line. No one around him. Perfect shot by Stubbs. They lead by one. We'll head into the break with the score, 36 to 35. What do you think of the first half, Bill? Both sides look like they're pretty evenly matched, Vern. This could be shaping up to be a real classic. And now it's time to show you our player of the half. Bill? Stubbs would not be denied. He was going to do everything and anything to get his points. Whether he had to go over, under, or around defenders to get to the 10, he did it. He is a man possessed right now, Vern. Tremendous effort from our player of the half. Don't see why 
everybody tripping off the wine and the business. Can handle you a four, you use a light way to hear this. I need this fucking house, LL Cool Chizze. Crush it in the press of Bell, let us get busy. Get the shit I said, say. On the daddy's this day. Niggas fucking with the way I keep it so jizzy. Cause I was once told that you can't fake the phone. I got so much fun, my hand to see when you drunk. Let me get back to this gangster spizzy. If I talk with a B and everything, I gain busy. But that's your possession of me, no matter fucking what's up. I don't give a fuck, no dick in my business. Never been a hit up, never been a sis up. Listen, clubs go eat a dick up till you hit up. If you got a problem, some motherfucking with up. I don't get too fucked like round two when I miss up. All in your business, all in your sis up. This why my dick swinging every time that I strip up. All in your business, all in your sis up. This why my dick swinging every time that I strip up. Say my name. The sky got so much flavor till you make me. The eye can't turn and stop this rain to me. Just fly like the best rhymes, you know how to crank the beat. Cause my boy got flavor, you better tell your neighbors, yeah. Cause it's kicking over tables, coming so hard, kicking over till it breaks on down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every time that I 
White inbounds it to start the second half. Stubbs catches it right wing. White skips it to the middle. Spins right wing. Lobs it down low. Hendricks. He snatches it off the glass. That offensive rebound didn't come to him by accident. He knew right where to be. Kicks it out to the wing. Hendricks offline. But they're still out in front by one. McCollum takes it up. Connects. He's shooting 50% for the game. Tracy Wolfson has more on what went on at halftime. Tracy? Well, at halftime, I talked with the head coach. He told me that he didn't think his lead would hold up and was going to tinker a little bit to expand upon it. Coach went on to tell me that he wasn't impressed with the opposing guard's ability to hold on to the ball. He told me he wants to take advantage of that by upping the pressure in the second half. Back to you. Thank you, Tracy. Nunez inbounds the ball. The crossover... Stubbs has it on the elbow. Intercepted. Wow, these fans are going nuts, Fern. Could this building get any louder? That last long two was buried by Meyer. And it's controlled by Washington State. Nice move in the paint on that last shot by McDermott. Another in a slew of baskets to increase the margin. Oh, they're really rolling along now. Might be time for the other side to call a timeout. No look pass. Left wing. Peacock catches it on the low block. He gets hammered, and he'll head to the strike. Shooting two. Can't sink the first. Good. 
Mohamed on number two. Nunez inbounds the ball. The Terrapins will try to end this run. Stubbs feeds it to the right wing. Dishes it to the wing. Stalwart shoots it up. Nice feed by Hendricks. He's fourth for six for the game. McCollum hands it off. Lensley. Bold pass. Passes it to the elbow. Stolen! I'd love to see that. He was lurking around then. Pounce. Such a deep burn. Last attempt off the mark by Plight. The crossover. Meyer gets it. Top of the key. Swing pass. Right wing. McCollum to the rim. He rips down the rebound. Fouls him. Just too much contact there, Vern. You're not going to get away with it if you affect the shot that much. Shooting. Peacock with the floater. He can't get the first. Goes up. He grabs the rebound. Right around 12 minutes left in the second half. Catches it. Far side. Hendricks from long range. Off the mark. Still a double-digit game. The crossover. McCollum with the shot. On, man. That, that will be a goal test. Nunez inbounds the ball. The Terrapins are really struggling. Stalwart, the 15-footer. He rips down the rebound. One-on-one. -on -one. Knocked free. And it's scooped up by Hendricks. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. Misfired on that last three by Hendricks. They rule this one goaltending. Count the shot. Hendricks hasn't had a good game so far, and he's going to sit down for a while. Right wing. McCollum pulls the trigger. He snatches it off the glass. And that's a good job to grab that rebound. Perfect position that time. Last shot missed nice by Stubbs. Shot. That last shot good by Plight. He flew in to grab it off the window. Offensive rebound is about desire and anticipation. He's shown plenty of both. There's a whistle. is the first. Gary is needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. I wouldn't have guessed this guy would come up empty being the good shooter that he is. But free throws are a lot more difficult in crunch time. Plight lets it go. Doesn't get the go-ahead basket to fall. What well, a D got lucky there, Vern. You can't expect many misses when you're that open. Gary. Peacock has it on the free throw line. Peacock, a huge blunder on that three-second violation. Stalwart inbounds the ball. Long. Right wing. Evens it up. That's eight unanswered points. Washington State 
has been on the wrong side of this long run and Tracy's got a report for us. The head coach is frantically talking to his assistants, trying to come up with a plan on defense to stop this run. He is not pleased with their current setup, to say the least. All right, Tracy, but it's recovered by Maryland. These guys are getting serious on D. That's tough stuff right there. Long. Nunez dumps it off. Poked loose. And it's picked up by Washington State. Leads him in. About nine and a half minutes left in the second half. Uh, not a good entry pass, Fern. You just can't force it in there. Feeds it to the wing. White. No dice. And it's still all knotted up. Gary from D. He grabs the rebound. Can you believe this crowd? Just listen to these people. They're going insane. And they're now out in front by two. Pass, right block. Stubbs leaves it up and in. The Cougars take their first time out of the game. Both teams are making substitutions. McCollum inbounds the ball. Stolen away by Long. Just a great matchup we've got here. Neither team can score any knockout blows. Washington State is shooting itself in the foot with all the turnovers. Tracy has something for us. The head coach looked downright disgusted after that last turnover led to yet another opposition bucket. He yelled three simple words at his guys on the floor. Protect the ball. Thanks, Tracy. Hendricks. Takes it up. And he finally sinks one. They're leading 50 to 48. Leads him with the pass. Down low. McCollum inside. Uh -huh. Count it. And he'll have a chance for the three-point play. He's either got to foul hard or don't foul at all. You can't just give up easy three-point plays. Got it to go. Piton inbounds the ball. Under eight minutes left in the second half. Nunez hands it off. Long goes up. Gently drops it in. He's got nine. Meyer really sits. Hits the jumper. 14 points, and he's his team's leading scorer. Lead pass to the paint. Nunez takes it up, drops it. They now lead by one.
Sizing up his man. Oh. McCollum. Count it! He's two for five from deep. Stubbs with the ball. Hendricks launches it. He grabs the rebound. Maryland is having big problems from beyond the arc. And I think Tracy has something for us on that. Tracy? The Terrapins coach wants to see his players move more effectively without the ball so they can get better looks at the basket. He told his guys, if you get to the open spot on the floor, I know you can hit that shot. Vern? All right, Tracy. He got a step on the D and worked it inside beautifully. Gary shoots a three. Oh. It falls. He's shooting 66% from downtown. Nunez inbounds the ball. The Terrapins with some difficulties. Stubbs backs him down from downtown. Not this time. Nice work by the big fella to get that rebound. The steal by Maryland bounces it to the perimeter. Oh, the quick hands before they even knew what hit them. He made off with that one. Nunez has it on the inside. Vitor from 12 feet away. Swish! They're now behind by three. McCollum throws it up. Knocks down the trifecta. 22 points, and he leads all in scoring. About five and a half minutes left in the second half. The Marlin coach saw something out there he didn't like, and he called for a timeout. He wants to make sure that everyone is working together out there. Looks like they're getting set to inbound the ball. Substitution on the court. Stalwart inbounds the ball. Dumps it inside. Vitor shoots. Drops it. But they still trail by four. Schneiderman catches it right wing. The crossover. McCollum dumps it off. Gary passes to the top of the key. Left wing. Skips it to the baseline. Foul. Whoa. Gets them both. Pita inbounds the ball. Maryland is really struggling. 
The alley-oop. And it's gathered up by Meyer. Wonderful job of denying the basketball that time. Great pick. Last tray off the mark by McCollum. About four and a half minutes left in the second half. Long. Hendrick with plenty of space. He rips down the rebound. I bet he wants another try at that shot. There wasn't anyone within a mile of it. Stolen by Maryland. Stalwart has it inside. Drops it. They close the gap to four. McCollum tosses it up court. One on one. Meyer. Can't capitalize. They've still got a four point lead. Long goes up. Almost a three point opportunity. Instead, he'll go to the line for two. Shooting two. He gets it. Both teams will bring in some fresh legs here. the second to fall as well. Peacock is back in the game after a short rest. Peacock inbounds the ball. Gary beats it to the elbow. Peacock, nothing but net. The Terrapins call time. Get back to the action. Nunez is needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. Hendricks inbounds the ball. It goes out of bounds. I'm not sure who that was going to, Vern. It seems he hit the panic button and sent the ball sailing. Meyer off the inbound pass. Nothing but net. And they're out in front by six. Hendrick tosses it up. Can't hit the three-pointer. They've got to learn to be patient on offense. Good shots will come if you don't rush them. Dumps it to the inside. McDermott, the turnaround, swish! He's shooting 57% for the game. Two fifty-three left in the game. The Terrapins call timeout. They're down by eight. Two fifty-one left in the game.
Stallworth inbounds the ball. I think these fans are getting excited, Vern. They're making some noise now. Last shot dunked down by Meyer. This is starting to get out of hand. Time now a big concern. Yes, you said it, Vern. We're almost past the point of no return for a comeback. The Terrapins will try to end this run. Stubbs. Stalworth backs in. Hendricks. He snatches it off the glass. That's another rebound for a team that's doing a great job on the boards. They've got a big edge there today. Bounces it to the right wing. Two Meyer takes the shot. Meyer gets it, left wing. A rare occurrence. As long as you keep running your offense, the coach will forgive a few clunkers. That will be a goal tag. Nunez inbounds the ball. Feeds out left, releases. The baseline jumper not there by Stalworth. They're still down five. McCollum. Catches it. Down low. That last basket was nailed by Peacock. Barring a complete disaster, I think they're ready to put this one in the bank. Top of the key. Hendricks to put an end to the run. McDermott corrals the miss off the nice box out. Might have rushed that one just a little bit. There was plenty of time on the shot clock, but he got a little over-anxious. Off target on the last shot by McCollum. Maryland is really struggling. Skips it to the right wing. You know, Vern, a player with his shooting ability just has to shake off that miss and keep firing. Meyer passes it up court. McCollum. Peacock has it. High post, unloads. McDermott snatches the rebound. The last shot laid gently in. They should hold on to the lead, Vern. If they play smart, they can walk away with the win. Stalwart inbounds the ball. Maryland takes it up court. Eight second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Behind the arc, reeled in by Nunez. It's blocked. Get it out of there, big fella. You have to protect the lane, and that time, they tried to sneak one through on him. The big guy has spoken. That's all she wrote. Washington State knocks off the Terrapins, 78 to 67. And now it's time to show you our player of the game. Now let's go back to Greg Gumbel with today's version of the Pontiac Game Changing Performance. Hi, and welcome everyone to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel, and we're going to bring you our Pontiac game-changing performance. It's no secret that getting momentum on your side is one of the keys to winning basketball games. The Washington State Cougars used this shot to take off on a huge run. This game might have had a much different outcome if it wasn't for this sequence. Thank you, Greg. This is Vern Lundquist for Tracy Wolfson and Bill Raftery. We hope you enjoyed this presentation of College Hoops on 2K Sports.
Maybe I just don't get it. We were only being hurt. I know you smell the perfume. You make up on your shirt. You don't believe the stories. You know that they're all alive. Bad as you are, you stick around. And I just don't know why.